So guys, I'm glad that you followed the series until this part and I would say it's now the time to close or to say yeah we have the first version of the tooling here where we can set proper IK handgun bonds. Now I can say it properly, <laughs> I'm so happy uh, today. And I think we should now talk a little bit more about issues that could happen during working with the animations of ALS and migrating it to a new character. And for that I yeah, use the UE5 many because it has a different skeleton and so on and it's uh, new and so on and I wanted to work with it. That's why I decided to use this character. You could also maybe use a different character. I would be interested if you got it working as well. But to yeah, really see or really explain what could go wrong, I don't know why it, maybe it's an issue in Unreal Engine, but Unreal Engine 5, but so far I did not know how to fix it. But let me explain what could happen. So if we filter for the montages and we have some, I think it's the get up montage. Yes, the get up montage. And here we have curves as well. And it could happen, <laughs> yeah, like we will see in other video where we work with the anim curve modifier that we will have some issues with the curve names or they are completely messed up. So yeah, or what could happen as well, you yeah removed all curves accidentally and they are gone. <laughs> then you have to retarget it or yeah migrate the curves from one montage to another montage. Normally for animation sequences we'd use, we would use the modifiers, but sadly there is no modifier for montages and yeah, that could be really painful. So how can we get it working? Let me yeah, show you how we can do this. So again, it's always the same approach. It really scales so well. I'm glad that I found the solution. And what we can do is editor hooks, go to editor hooks and create a new one. So here we will create a new editor utility blueprint and search for asset, asset action utility, select call BP underscore anim montage hooks, save everything and same procedure like every, every time we override the get supported class method, delete the parent and here we select montage. So animation montage. So this part is done. Compile and we create a new function as well. Copy anim montage curves. So the input is of course a montage. So there is it anim montage object reference. And we say here anim montage save here we say it is valid fusion pin line everything print string proper error message so that we know what is going on the append node we need here as well like every time so yeah as i said it's always the same procedure error called copy no not called tried to use copy anim montage curves without a valid anim montage so and I think that was not good that we use the append node sorry for that we will just say it here and we uncheck print to screen so and what we will do is get selected uh, assets yes for each loop so that we can iterate all over them and what we also need to do i forgot sorry is that we need to promote this to a local variable so l underscore and in montage i 
I know some guys use this node get anim montage, which you can do as well and use validated get and so on. That's perfectly fine, but once you rename the parameters here in the function, then you will step into issues and have to redo a lot of stuff. That's why I avoid using this node. I don't like it, to be honest, because doing refactoring, a lot of things can go wrong. And that's yeah why we avoid it. So that's why I use all these local variables. So what we need as well is here a cast node, anim montage. Connect it to here. And so here, <laughs> sadly, we don't have anything here. We cannot say something with curves. There is nothing. Our own function, which we created, but we can add curves, duplicate curves. But I don't know, to be honest, what they do. But sadly, there is really nothing. <laughs> If you find a node, please let me know in the comments below. But so far, we have to use a C++ custom C++ function here. And for that, we will save our work here in case anything go could go wrong. And we will start to implement it in C++. Then we open Whistle Studio. And we go into our TT Toolbox Blueprint Library H file and start implementing stuff. Here we introduce a new section, say anim montage functions and the thing which we need is the following of course a u function so that we can call it and we use static so that's also what we did all the time and we say here copy anim curves anim anim <laughs> montage montage curves so and the signature will look like the following we have a u anim montage then we make it a pointer and say source anim montage and we will need the same again for the target here we say target montage. So, so we are happy. And we go into the CPP file, control KO. And let's see where we can implement this stuff. So we can implement it here. Remove the static and we will just need the class name and put it like here like so so at first we can always yeah use the same stuff so we check the input parameters then we will copy all curves over and if they already exist we need to remove them to avoid issues that's what we will do and then if we are done, it will be a loop. We will modify the target montage. And if everything is correct, we will return true. Like always. And yeah, let's start with the input check. So that's something like this. We will say if everything is so if one of these is not valid, and we will also rename them. I already prepared the code it's in another session. And then we will use this error message here and adapt it a bit. So called copy curves names with invalid uh, source anim montage or target montage. So done so here we will do the following so we ask the target montage that we want to get the controller 
it's like the same like we had already with the blueprint stuff so we need to ask the anim sequence or a montage that we want to get the controller where we can control how we want to store the data and we remove all curves of the type float and then if we have no curves anymore we can start introducing new curves or copy them over from one montage to another and for this we will use this for loop here and it's very important that you use the ampersand here to make it as a reference so to not copy stuff over and let's see is this a const yeah i think that's fine so here it's quite similar we need to say that we here use the uh, target skeleton and then we say get smart name by name <laughs> i don't know why that's very weird but it works perfectly fine and then you can use the container name here and the source curve name with this one and the curve smart name <laughs> so yeah it's very confusing but that's how it is and then we can go on we will work on this error message quite in a few seconds and then we can create a curve basically for that oh let's i did not follow my coding conventions for that we use a const f animation curve identifier <laughs> call it curve id use the smart name and say the type we want to have and then we say from the target controller we say oh yeah please add this curve please and we can then call the method set curve keys there we use the curve id of course because that's the identifier and then we ask the source curve to get our to get the float curve and then we want to have a const reference of the keys and that's basically the shortest way i found to just copy over the keys and the last thing what is missing is the error message which we will work on as well quite soon and here the function retrieve container name for curve that's a custom helper function so that you don't have to deal with it all the time. We just put it above. And for that, we will use the animation sequence base. That's basically the base class of the UANIM montage. That's what you can see here. If you use F12, then you go UANIM composite base, and UANIM composite is a UANIM sequence base. And the UANIM sequence base is also used for U animation sequences. U anim sequence that's how how epic called them and what we do here is use a check f so if this is a null pointer we will raise an assertion and we will stop using the editor so maybe if you don't like it just use a return here and return a none name but that's how it is and then we can create a name mm, no it's an array of f name types and we use the max from this enumeration here don't ask why that's <laughs> how i found it in the engine but it works perfectly fine and then we can use the uanim uh, the u skeleton uanim curve mapping name and uanim track curve name mapping that's that's basically hard-coded strings which we have to use and then we use a for loop, iterate all over them and try to find the smart name, con the get the smart name container with the index. And if it exists, we return the correct name. Otherwise, we have a name none and then something will fail here. So that's how it works. You will see that works perfectly fine. And what we still need to do is the following here. Use something for inspiration. So we can hear something say like fail to get smart name for let's use this one here for curve for curve mm. Yeah, I think that's fine. Just lose it. Just lose it like this. 
and then we continue which is not a good way but it works perfectly fine so that we basically collect all errors and here we need to say to string and we need to start we need to use the start operator here and then we basically have our function so let's save everything Control s and go back to unreal engine and click on build so let's see if it builds perfectly fine and let's also see if live coding works for us as well here otherwise we need to yeah shut down the editor and start it again but now we should be able to copy curves for animation montages as well so live coding succeeded and we now can use our copy curve function mm, here is it tt toolbox that's the one and the target yeah <laughs> we need to collect here that's uh, connect not collect connect here that's the target curve and the l anim montage that's the source curve we need to set it here and align it properly move this a little bit to the right so so you might also wonder why <laughs> maybe the entire time why we have this boolean here and it's just a convention for me so that we can raise the error message here if needed if you want to use this node in another context like we have here in our tooling but for for here it's fine we will know what is going on if something goes wrong and let's see if it works so what we can do is go to characters mannequins animations and search for or filter for montages and we open this one here so it has a lot of curves and we remove all of them so basically <laughs> accidentally i deleted it now and what we can do now is the following so we copy this name here to the clipboard right click scripted asset actions and say copy anim curve names and try to find the ones from els so basically we just remove our prefix so that's the one here and if we open the animation montage again we will see the curves are there again and it works perfectly fine so you now have the possibility to yeah copy animation uh, montage curves from one in from one montage to another montage and it's very easy now to do this it's not it's not a manual task anymore but <laughs> we forgot something and here i forgot to use the category or to introduce category so let's do this quickly and then we will also end the session already because yeah we are done with this stuff so let me copy this over it's character tools i wasn't sure i always be very precise here and we yeah basically have it now so hope you enjoyed the session as well and yeah fingers crossed you never step into this issue but once you do you have this tool and then you can migrate the curves very easily so I'll see you in the next session.